Hello, this is Psych Central's Ask the Therapist. I'm Dr. Marie Hartwell Walker, and this is my colleague Dan Tomasulo. And what we thought we'd talk about today is anxiety. Mm, exactly right. It makes me very anxious. <laughs> it makes me anxious too. Uh, you know, it's it's kind of. Uh, I mean, I think we've both had this experience um, where uh, people will have anxiety. And uh, the, the, the first thing that they look for is some kind of psychological thing that's underneath it. And uh, I Or they know look for a medication to make it go or away. Th that's right, <laughs> right, right, right. My anxiety's up, let me take this medicine and right. bring it down. Or is there something um, uh, you know, generating this in my thoughts, in my feelings? Uh, but very often anxiety is being generated by medical conditions. And so uh, I, I think as a general rule, what we'd want to do is say, uh, you know, having a an evaluation by a physician would be the right thing. I mean, things like um, uh, cardiac problems can cause anxiety. Things like asthma can cause anxiety. Uh, anemia, um, even constipation uh, can UTIs. do that. UTIs. Yep. And thyroid's a big culprit. Oh, you know? unbelievable, right? And so the you know the truth is anxiety. It, it, it looks just the same across the board, but it may be being generated by something different. One of the things that I think about is um, sometimes anxiety is the smoke detector going off. Yeah, right. You know? That's good. And a smoke and a fire was never put out by turning off the smoke detector. Yeah, yeah. So turning off your anxiety by taking a medication, anti-anxiety medication, may be in fact turning off your smoke detector, your smoke alarm. Yeah. And it's a very good idea to go to your physician and make sure that the anxiety isn't being provoked by um, an underlying medical issue mm. that could be fairly easily treated. Yeah, I think ruling out the medical is the, uh, the best first step you can take. 